In this video, we're going to be looking at adding two floating point numbers. So what you can see I've done on my work example is I've wrote the mantissa and the exponent as titles. I've wrote the six digit mantissa down for the first number and its exponent. I wrote the six digit mantissa for the second number and its exponent. So let's first of all start by converting the exponents into deanery. So this is a one, two, four, eight. So this is a positive six. Same applies to the bottom exponent. One, two, four. So this is a positive four. Now, the easiest way I find to do this now is to bring the first number down and write it again. Knowing that we have to move the decimal point six places to the right. One, two, three, four, five. We need to insert an extra zero to make it six. So there is our new decimal point. We're gonna do exactly the same with the second number. Bring the second number down. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. Its exponent is four. So we are gonna move the decimal point four places. One, two, three, four. Now you can see that these decimal places aren't aligned. So the simplest way to now is to rewrite these so they are aligned so we can add them together. So we start by rewriting the first number. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, full stop. The second number, its decimal point starts here and we rewrite the number accordingly. Now you can see here, this is some gaps. Because this is a positive number, I'm gonna use zeros to pad that number out. We can now perform our addition. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. Zero plus zero is zero. So we're gonna maintain our decimal point. Now we know the, the rules of a normalized number are is zero one is the start of a positive num normalized number and a one zero is the start of a negative normalized number. So we've already got the correct first two digits of our solution. So if we count our digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll notice that this digit here will have to be dropped because we can only use six digits in our solution. So our solution will be, we're gonna use an arrow here, zero, one, 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 zero, one. So that is our new mantissa for the sum of the two numbers. Now the exponent, this is where we want the decimal place and we know that we have to have our starting position after the most significant bit. So that is the equivalent of um, one, two, three, four, five. But remember, 
we've got this digit here. So it's not just counting on this number, it's counting on this number here. So let's just draw in the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. A lot of people make the mistake of moving it on the, the sum after they've dropped additional digits. That would be an error. So our exponent is a positive six. So we can see that this is a positive number. It's in a normalized form because our rules of normalization say that a positive number must start with zero, one. Our exponent indicates that we need to make six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's our new exponent. And that's how I would like lay out this question in a formal exam to ensure that the examiners have exactly the information they need.